Hey guys, David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and in today's video, we're going to talk about why I've decided to leave ClickFunnels and where I've taken my business uh, since leaving. So uh, here we are inside ClickFunnels. Um, this is uh, just a an account that I set up uh, simply for this video. I, I have actually closed my account at this point, um, no longer using the platform. But I wanted to show you, um, you know, around um, uh, ClickFunnels just a bit. Uh, and give you a sense of what it is and perhaps what it, uh, it, it isn't. So ClickFunnels is an incredibly robust platform. If you don't know it, um, you should absolutely check it out. It's great, but um, it's a little bit too much, too, uh, uh, too robust for a lot of my client projects. And one of the biggest challenges that we've come across here in our business is that the ClickFunnels um, platform uh, really is way, way more than uh, any of my clients need. We really just need simple funnel pages. And it's great to build out uh, funnels. It's great for, um, to some extent, for uh, membership sites and protecting products and things like that. But it comes at a pretty pretty hefty price uh, for all of that. Let me let me jump over here. Okay, so this is the pricing for ClickFunnels. And uh, again, don't, don't get me wrong, it's a great platform, but uh, there's some restrictions on it, right? So uh, for $97 a month, you can build a whopping 20 funnels. Um, if you wanna do more than that, you have to jump to $300 a month, right? To, to do 70 funnels, right? Um, there's a restriction on the number of pages, uh, restriction on the number of unique visitors to each of these. Uh, now the contacts, uh, um, uh, the number of leads and things, that's great, you can, you can get a, a ton of them. But you can see that there's uh, a, a lot uh, of stuff that you get in here, uh, but it can be pretty overwhelming. But it starts at $97 a month. And frankly, for most businesses, uh, they're building out funnels. They're, you know, if you're an agency doing this for clients, that's great. But if you're an agency doing for this, this for clients, then you probably need a lot more than what is available in the startup option. You need the enterprise option. And that, that's, you know, that, that's a, a big investment. Um, so I, I, you know, that's one of the reasons that I moved away is, you know, paying $97 a month every month. And then I'm doing this for clients. So I needed to jump up to the, the, the $300 a month, right? It just, it just didn't um, make a lot of sense. Now, I also decided that uh, there wasn't a, enough flexibility inside ClickFunnels for me. And I wanted to be able to do a lot more custom design of stuff than ClickFunnels allowed me to. And so when uh, I had the opportunity to invest in a, um, a, a new platform uh, as it was in beta um, called ConvertTree, I decided, okay, well, let me try this out. So I jumped into their beta and uh, I, I've just absolutely uh, adore it. Now it is still in um, its early days. It's still in early development, but it's it's been around for um, I, gosh, I think almost a year now, um, probably a little bit less. And I have um, just just grown to love it. And so what I did was I actually took all of my funnels from ClickFunnels and I've moved them over to Convertry. And Convertry has actually made that pretty easy because they have an importer where I can uh, I, I can actually copy uh, all of the content and move it over to my site. Now, just a caveat, that is in um, my level uh, of an account, which is an agency level account. So let's actually jump over. Uh, this is the Convertry uh, sales page. Uh, and, you know, it's... Um, there are basically two things about Convertry that I absolutely adore, right? So number one is the ability to do tons of customization uh, on the platform in ways that uh, I, I wasn't able to on, um, on ClickFunnels. Um, also, I played around with lead pages and had some s similar restrictions, uh, but it's a, a free um, form page builder. So I can actually just drag and place everything exactly where I want it to be. I'll, sh I'll show you that in a, in a moment. Um, there's a completely separate mobile page designer so that it, it sort of approximates what it should look on, like on mobile, but then if you want to tweak things so that your mobile thing looks different, like let's say you want to say, instead of click here, you want to say push here or you know tap here or something like that, you can make those changes in the mobile version by you know uh, basically making a slightly different uh, tweaks for mobile. Um, 
Now, here's the thing that, that I really had not paid attention to at all when it came to ClickFunnels, and it was how quickly the pages are loading. And these guys have built this platform on the same technology, um, uh, speed-based technology that Facebook and Twitter and, and other um, major, major sites are built in order to uh, make sure that our pages load as quickly as possible. And, and I just, I, this is pretty amazing. So... Um, there's that. Uh, you can track conversions and all, all those sorts of things. And in contrast, I'm going to just drop, because this is a long, long sales page here, I'm just going to drop down to the bottom here uh, to show you. Actually, here's uh, a quick, you can see, sort of see the, 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 uh, the map of progress from here to here. And then based on somebody's action, they go to you know an upsell or a downsell and a thank you. So that's how it works. It's all mapped out really, really um, cool in a... Uh, visual fashion, you can actually watch the the videos here. Although I'll sh I'll show you inside the platform in a moment. But here's here's what I like the most for my clients. Now I have an agency license, and so I build a lot of these things for my clients, and then um, uh, you know they're paying for other services, and I include that inside. But if you're looking for uh, access to this tool, you're not you're not uh, looking to engage us uh, to build this out for you. Um, here's here's the sweet thing. So you get 14 days for a penny. You know big deal. You get 14 days free uh, on, um, on ClickFunnels. But here's the pricing. Uh, the, the base pricing, 25,000 impressions, 50 funnels. Um, you get 500 pages. So this is already more than you're getting over at, at ClickFunnels. It's currently uh, $39 a month. You know, they, they say 59. I don't know if that's, uh, that's ever going to be the real price or not, but right now they're saying 39 bucks a month. Um, then you can jump up to the pro version, uh, where you get 250 funnels, a hundred thousand impressions, uh, on a monthly basis. Uh, and that's 49 bucks. And then finally the, the agency version, this is the one that I have, um, 400,000 impressions, 10,000 funnels. That's crazy. 10,000 funnels. Uh, 10,000 insanely fast pages. Uh, you know, who, who's ever going to use that? And then um, uh, you get sub accounts too. 25 sub accounts as part of this. That's uh, you know that's what I'm doing, and that's 100, uh, 149 dollars a month. So that's how it works. And uh, you know for um, for me, this has really proven to be the the the, the right move. So let's actually, let's jump into ConvertTree. Uh, so here, here we are. Uh, here's a bunch of the sites that I've created. Um, so basically the way that it works is there's, a, there's sort of a, a, a hierarchy. So you create a site and then with each site uh, you can create funnels and then within each funnel there's multiple pages. So let's, let's just add a site. Um, okay, so test um, purposes only. I'm, I'm assuming that that's not uh, a site that anybody has uh, created yet. Looks like it's um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit add domain. And now I have testpurposesonly.convertry.com. By the way, you, you'll notice that uh, uh, this is a not a dot .convertry.com. This is a custom one for our tool Grow, uh, trygrow.co. And so you can do custom domains as well. Um, so in this case, I've crea created this test purposes only one. Now i got to add a funnel. So I'm going to go ahead and click add funnel, um, my funnel. Okay, obviously if, if you have multiple funnels and they have real names and all of that, uh, that's uh, obviously more helpful. Now add a page, right? So we have multiple pages in our funnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a page here and it's gonna give me a whole bunch of templates. Now uh, the templates that you're gonna see here are um, the, the, the templates that I get with my agency uh, account. So um, all of this stuff at the top you get with every account, right? And then uh, there's some 404, there's some other ones, right? And then these are like full funnels. Uh, and starting at this point where it says template club, this is not available with the uh, uh, the starter version, the, the basic one. But I think it's available in the pro, I'm not positive. I think it is available in the pro and the agency versions. Um, but these are basically uh, specific to different types of industries, different types of opt-ins. You can see there's tons and tons and tons of, um, uh, of funnels here, uh, of, of individual pages that are designed here, but a bunch of stuff. So, uh, you know, let's say that I want to take, um, you know, this, this one here, the how I made uh, $96,000, so how I made money, we'll call it, and I'll go ahead and hit OK, and it is creating my page. So now I have a page inside my test purposes only um, site, and now I can create multiple pages here, uh, manage it all that way, but let's just go into the editor so you can see what it looks like. Um, 
So we're gonna open up the page that has all of the content already in it, and I'll get to sort of move things around, show you how it works. Um, but this is what I was saying earlier, it's a free flow, free form uh, 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 creator. Okay, so here we are. It's loaded, and now I have individual things like, I'm gonna go ahead and click here. My uh, bandwidth is a little bit uh, narrow, it looks like, uh, as I'm recording this video, so give me just a second here. Okay, so, uh, you know, I, I'm clicking on this text, and let's say I, you know, I wanna do something, change this text to, you know, different color, whatever it may be. Uh, go ahead and hit select. Um, I can, you know, change font and all of that, but it's also, free form editor, which means I can put anything I want anywhere. Okay, so there you go. Um, you know, I, so here's, you know, here's the book. I want to replace this book with something else. Uh, I can go ahead and hit image. I think I've actually uh, recently uploaded. Yeah, let's, let's just upload. I think I have a book that's uh, on my desktop right now. Let's see if I do. I think, is that it? Uh, okay, so that's that's close enough. Let's go ahead and use that, and there we go. So now I have, you know, this new new book. Now I can preview it. So let's just take a look and see what it looks like um, with the preview. And again, I di I didn't change very much here, but you can see now I have the the new book. Um, so that that's pretty straightforward. And you see how 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 fast that thing loads. Um, that's pretty amazing. Okay, and then there's the mobile view. So there's the mobile version of it, and it's designed with a, a pretty clear layout for mobile. In this case, you know, this is a little bit too big. I want to reduce the size and let's move this thing. Oops. Let us move it over here. Okay. And uh, I want to make sure that it's uh, properly centered. Uh, and so all I do is select that and then I can say, okay, please center it and poof, there it is. So there we go. And, and I can move all of these things around as, you know, as I wish. If I want to move that uh, together as a group, um, there's a, a, a short uh, a keystroke, excuse me, to, to do that. I just basically I hold down shift and move stuff and it pulls everything that's below uh, the point that I'm, that I'm uh, moving it. Uh, okay, so, so there you go. So you can sort of see how the mobile is different. And if I, if I wanted to create something like, I don't want this, um, this section to show up in mobile. So I can actually um, get it out of mobile. So you can see it's only in desktop, it's not in mobile, or I wanna bring it back onto the mobile. Okay, so that, that's you know, sort of basically how that works. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Uh, we haven't published it yet, but if I, if I hit publish, uh, I can just put whatever the slug is, the path um, here. So it would be, you know, test purposes only .com slash whatever, um, my, my test page. Okay, I'm not gonna publish it. Let's go ahead and close this. And I want to show you one other pretty cool thing. So as I said earlier, if you have ClickFunnels or you have uh, a different funnel builder, whether it's lead pages or, or you're using something else, and you want to actually move your stuff over, um, here's how. And this is only, I believe, only available in the agency level. So if you're you know, managing client accounts and, and all of that, um, this is a really, really cool thing that you can do. So here we are, oops, uh, here we are on a page that I uh, have uh, uh, in, in ClickFunnels. We're just gonna go ahead and copy that URL, bear.clickfunnels.com slash opt-in. Uh, this page will not be here by the time you, uh, um, you are watching this video, uh, but I wanted to just you know import this into Convertry. So let's go back into Convertry, here we are. And inside of this site, oh, right, so I'm in the uh, list of funnels for the site, I have the option to click import pages and I can simply paste that URL, confirm that it's actually mine because this is, you know, uh, we don't want to be stealing other people's stuff, uh, but this is, you know, actually mine and I can, oops, let's type that correctly and we'll call it the opt-in page and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now it is importing the uh, the web page uh, that I have uh, put in there from ClickFunnels. Uh, it's moving it over to my Convertry platform, and it's not going to be 100% uh, uh, perfect, but it's a fairly simple page, and um, you know it, I can I can tweak uh, things accordingly uh, as I wish. Uh, what it doesn't seem to be doing is grabbing all of the um, the videos. So let's let's actually take a look at that for for a moment. Um, so here we are, I'm, I'm clicking into it in Convertry, so you can now see the ClickFunnels page over here that I that I grabbed, right? 
and here it is in Convertry. Now there's a placeholder for a video. I don't know if it's actually pulled over um, the video or not. We'll see in a second because it's still loading. Um, and then let's see what these, okay, so uh, these were placeholders for the form. And so it's not, it's seeing them as, as like images right now. So I would have to actually change that out. But can you imagine how, how much or how, how little work I have to do on this now that I have moved it over? Basically, I have to, you know, go here and, uh, you know, this is, this is thinking that it's a, um, uh, an image maybe. So I just have to go in and change it to, uh, you know, put the HTML in or uh, identify the video. Let's say it's right. So we're going to put in, um, let's see, I can, I can put in, let's say media and put a video there. Oops. I don't want a video there. Let's get rid of that. I want a, let's say it's a, a YouTube video, right? It could, could be something else, but oops, I did too. All right. And so there's a video that I'm going to pop in right there. You'll see again, free form. I can put this thing anywhere I want. Let's get rid of that just so I can get out of the way. Okay. So here's, here's my, um, my new element that I've just put in. Let's close that. Uh, we'll open up and all I need to do is put the URL. Do I want, uh, or of the video, uh, do I want it to autoplay? Do I want to play it in loop? Um, do I want the, the, um, control shown. And I can do this um, not just with uh, YouTube, but I can, through HTML, I can put a Vimeo video here or whatever, whatever else I want. And, you know, poof, I have my, um, uh, my page all set up. Basically, uh, we've just pulled that over right from here uh, into here. Right. And again, there's a couple little tweaks I need to make, but uh, it is rapid fire uh, ability to you know, move things over in bulk. And, um, and then you can uh, tweak them here inside of Convertry. Anyway, um, that is why I've moved away from ClickFunnels over to Convertry. And if you'd like information on either of these platforms, both of which are excellent, uh, I have links in the uh, uh, details below this video. So uh, any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'm David uh, from Bear on Marketing and look forward to seeing you again in another video. Take care.